Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm gonna share some updates and some plans for 2024. So first off, Scrap Time is celebrating its 17th anniversary. We started Scrap Time back in January of 2007 when Gemma was four and entering kindergarten. And now she is 21 and about to graduate from university. I started with scrapbooking, then I moved to stamping and card making, and eventually into art journaling and mixed media where I tend to stay. I love to experiment with all new products. So I wanna thank everybody. I know some of you have actually watched from the beginning. We started as a video podcast on iTunes before moving to YouTube, because we actually started around the same time that YouTube started. And when YouTube started, it was not very good. But now here we are being able to give you these videos in long format in nice quality. So a lot has changed in 17 years. But I've changed too. And so after the pandemic and staying in, I needed to get out. And so back in 2021, I started another YouTube channel called Visit Toronto. And I was watching a lot of travel videos because I wanted to travel. And I found that there weren't the same type of travel videos for Toronto. So I started this, it's a channel geared towards tourists. So if you are thinking of planning on visiting Toronto, uh, you can check out my site. I have quite a few videos with attractions, places to eat, places to shop, um, areas of the city, just everything about the holidays, annual events, everything you want to know. After a few years, I've been able to build up quite a big collection there. But then I started traveling, finally, and I started my personal channel where I post videos from my own adventures. And, but anybody's welcome to watch them. Last year, Gemma and I actually got to go to Norway and we went to the Arctic Circle. So that was pretty exciting. I don't think I'll go much more north than that. So um, I'd love you to go and check out my videos. We've been to Europe, Disney, and this year we're planning on going to Spain and then taking a cruise to Italy. So hopefully I can get some inspiration there to share with you. But then last year, you may have heard there was a SAG strike. And although Mark's not an actor, he works in the film industry where we film a lot for American television. So I got the great pleasure of having Mark stay home with me every single day for four months. And therefore, I didn't do a lot of crafting. However, we started to play board games and we have a place near us that we can rent board games and we would rent games and play them every day of the week. And whenever something bad happens, like not having an income for four months, um, you have to try and think what good can come out of this. And so we decided to start yet another YouTube channel because that is what we're known for now. And it's called, Should I Buy This Board Game? And it's a channel that I want to watch when I'm trying to decide if a board game is good for me. So I show you the basics of how the game is played and what it looks like, and then share some thoughts that I think of the game to help you decide if it's a board game you want to buy. So if you're into board games, I'd love you to check out my new channel, Should I Buy This Board Game? Now, I don't want to give up crafting. I still like crafting. And so I want to spend a bit more time this year. I'm not saying full time. I'm, you're not, I'm not going to have weekly videos. I'm very sorry, but I'm busy with other things right now. But I am trying to do some crafting. So I have this piece here. And I'm trying to incorporate some of the ephemera I get while I travel and find ways to use this in some products. So this is just the piece I'm working on. So maybe that will end up being um, in a future video of ways to incorporate your travel ephemera. I'm trying to find ways to use what I have. I'm not buying a lot of new crafting supplies because I still have a pile of them and just ways to use things that I have to create things from my experiences. So I just want to thank you for being joining Scrap Time. If you've been a follower for 17 years, two years, one year, or you just stumbled across this video, thank you for watching. And I hope to see more of you in 2024.